Hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to install and set up Google Chrome Portable. Now, one of my uh, best videos has actually been how to set up and install Google Chrome, and an offset of that is Google Chrome Portable. But the major difference between Google Chrome and Google Chrome Portable is Google Chrome Portable puts everything in a single solitary folder so you can move it to different computers, you can it basically puts everything in a single folder so you can put it on a thumb drive and have access to all of it. It doesn't install it to the computer and have all the files scattered in different places and stuff like that. It has it in a single solitary location so you can yeah, do things like put it on a thumb drive and move it to another computer or copy it to another computer or have like your Google Chrome installation in here and then you want a different Google Chrome to do other stuff on. And then you can go and do that. So I'm actually going to show you the setup and a couple of neat things about it while I'm at it too. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a quick search for Google Chrome Portable. We should come across the portableapps.com link, which is the one we're going to go ahead and left click on and open. We're going to go ahead and download from SourceForge, which is totally fine. We'll give this a second to do its thing and download. And then what we're going to do is we're going to install this into a brand new folder its own brand new Google Chrome installation in a folder on the desktop that we can then go into and it will be separated from your regular Google Chrome or in the case that you want to like destroy it you can shred it it's just there's a lot of things you can do when you have everything in a single solitary location all right so I'm going to go ahead and launch the download that we just did for Google Chrome Portable the installation language is okay so I'm going to go ahead and click next. I'm going to click I agree. Now this is actually going to go online and it's going to uh, download the latest uh, version of the uh, Google Chrome Portable. So we don't have to worry about whether or not this is the latest version. It will download the latest version. We also, I also have like an update video uh, in my other videos on how to update this if you happen to have it because it doesn't have a way to necessarily update it specifically. So you do have to manually update it. But before we get into any of that or before I even uh, mention that we're still installing. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and click browse. I'm actually gonna go ahead and, and install this into just a single solitary folder on my desktop. We're going to select that and what this says is on my desktop in a folder called google chrome portable it's going to put everything into this folder now it actually already uh creates this by default so you don't generally have to do anything as long as this because this is the name of the folder it's going to create it in uh if you don't do anything here what will happen is is if you just leave it at its default is it will just create a Google Chrome portable folder inside of the download. So what you'll do is you'll run this, you'll leave it at its default. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna do that. So that's, yeah, so that'll make it easier when you guys run into that. So let's run the launcher. Let's go ahead and click next. I'm gonna click agree. We're gonna leave it to default in its default location. Like as, yeah, it's just like you were doing and installing it there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click install. This is going to install everything we need to run it into a folder since I downloaded it to downloads and ran it downloads and left it to the default. It's going to put the entire Google Chrome installation into this Google Chrome portable folder. Fact. Now that we've got that, it's going to take a second. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and check back in with you when this is finished. All right, so that's finishing the installation. Uh, what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to, to give you a little more insight on how you might use something like this. Number one, if you have everything in one solitary folder, you can actually take that folder and delete it, and completely eradicate everything in one go. Number two thing you can do is if I have Google Chrome and I have all my personal stuff on it, well, that's cool, but what if I have a company I'm running? Well, I can install that company into this Google Chrome portable folder uh, say set up another user account so it saves it online and stuff like that and then have a separate stuff for all my business stuff which is actually how I do my uh, Google channel so for instance I have my regular personal stuff on Google Chrome just a regular installation and then I have all my business stuff in a folder literally called Google Chrome Portable and I can move this to any computer I can do all kinds of stuff with it it's great to have it in a folder where all your favorites are in this folder all the web histories in this folder, 
all your settings. I mean, basically everything that comprises this Google Chrome is inside that single solitary phone. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And here is that, uh, here is that uh, Google Chrome installed and ready to go. Brand new, clean install, clean slate, clean everything. And then no matter what you do, if I go to websites and my history builds up on here, or I sign in here, or irregardless of what I do, it's going to put everything that I do into this folder here. So I can move it, I can destroy it, I can do whatever I want, and it will basically just take care of all of it. So that's it. That's basically how you install, set up, and run Google Chrome Portable. Uh, as usual, uh, if you guys want to buy me a coffee or support the channel, please check in the comments section below. We have a link for that. Uh, beside that, you can also comment on the video, or if you have a recommendation for a video or something you'd like me to make a video on, feel free to leave that in the comments section also. Beside that, if you have any other questions or anything, you know, leave that. And uh, that's it. Have a great rest of the day.